Hey guys, we are going to find the area of two rhombuses today. Pretty sure that's correct English. So a rhombus is a special parallelogram. So actually, if you had the base and height of your rhombus, you could just do the area for a parallelogram. But as you can see, we do not have the base and the height here. We have these diagonals is what they we call them. So a rhombus is a parallelogram where all the sides are the same. Okay, so the area of a rhombus can also be known as half times diameter one, not diameter, diagonal. Oh my gosh, this is in a circle. Half times diagonal one times diagonal two. Now, if you're like, that seems kind of random, why does that work? That's a lovely question. I'll link a video for you in the corner where I explain it. Okay, but let's go ahead and do this. So I am going to find the area by taking one half times my first diagonal, which is two inches and two inches. So I add those together and I get four. So one half times four times my second diagonal. So three plus three, which would give me six. Okay, so I've got one half times four times six which when I do one half times four, that gives me two, two times six gives me 12. So my area is 12. But whenever we're doing area, we gotta pay special attention to our units. So we are 12 inches, and because it's area, it's inches squared, right? We're trying to figure out how many little boxes that are one inch by one inch would fit inside of this rhombus. So there, it is. Okay, let's do one more. This guy over here, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to say our area is one half times my first diameter. Now it doesn't really matter which one is, did I say diameter again? Oh my gosh, diagonal. You guys, it's a diagonal, dot, not diameter. <laughs> ah, okay, so it doesn't really matter which one is the first diagonal and which one is the second? Just, just pick one. So we're gonna say four plus four here is my first diagonal, so eight. And 10 plus 10 is going to be my second diagonal, so 20, okay? And then one half times 20 would give me 10, times eight would give me 80. So my area in this case is 80 inches squared. There we go. All right, if you need any more area videos, I will link a whole playlist for you. Thanks.